Hello and welcome. Each year around 150 million smartphones are being sold in our country. Some cater to the budget buyers while others are targeted at those who can spend a little more. There is also a third category, the creme de la creme of smartphones that pack the best of what technology has to offer in a handheld mobile device. Prices may change and features may vary, but the fact remains that smartphones are getting bigger, better and smarter each year. And some of the best smartphones even the not so pricey ones comes with a bright and vibrant glass display which makes all the difference but the glass as we know is fragile and it's quite susceptible to cracks and scratches and that's where a company called Corning comes into picture. It has the famous Gorilla Glass protection and there is a high possibility that the smartphone that you are holding in your hand is being protected by Corning Gorilla Glass that has been saving your devices from accidental drops, cracks and scratches. We will tell you more about how Gorilla Glass protects your smartphones from all the damages but before that, let's look at some of the interesting facts about the history of smartphones from the Corning lens. Corning has been around for over 170 years. Besides Gorilla Glass for electronic devices, Corning also makes fiber optic cables, telescope mirrors and glass for space shuttles among others. Over the years, Corning has perfected its technology in the form of Gorilla Glass 3, Gorilla Glass 5, Gorilla Glass 6 and Gorilla Glass Victus. As we speak, over 8 billion devices and 45 major brands have used Gorilla Glass protection since its launch in 2007. With high demand for Gorilla Glass by smartphone companies, Corning also started giving protection to other devices such as smart watches, tablets, smart TVs, etc. I'm sure you must be surprised by these interesting facts now. So we have spoken about why smartphones need extra protection and who provides that protection. Before we get into the nuances of what that protection is and how it protects the smartphones, let's first go to the users and understand how often they drop their phones and how they protect them. Let's take a look. Once I was uh, taking my phone out of my pocket and then it got uh, dropped on the floor and I found that the screen has got gotten broken. In the recent past, my phone fell on the footpath and uh, the screen got broken into very small pieces and it was very painful. I have dropped my phone on the road and I have seen that my phone was cracked. I have. Once it fell off my hand to the ground and the screen shattered completely. So we have with us Mr. Dave Velasquez. He's the Vice President and General Manager Corning Gorilla Glass Mobile Consumer Electronics. A very warm welcome and many congratulations for your new Corning Gorilla Glass Victus 2. Uh, you know, I personally know what Corning Gorilla Glass protection is. You of course know what Gorilla Glass protection is. But to make a layman understand, could you please explain what Corning Gorilla Glass protection is and what is Corning Gorilla Glass Victus 2? Certainly, and thank you very much for the time. So, uh, Gorilla Glass is the first thing anyone looks through when they use their device. Right, it's a protective cover glass that's strengthened that helps protect all the displays and the functionality of that device. We've, we've been in the business for about 15 years. We, uh, we, we invented it back in the uh, late 2000s. And the problem statement was as all as the mobile phones were becoming smartphones with touch technology, right? there needed to be a protective layer to make sure that the, all that technology was, was protected and that it wouldn't scratch. So we, we use an older technology that we invented back in the 60s. We brought that back to life and we quickly, uh, rapidly changed it for uh, appropriate for co consumer electronics. Now we're very excited about our most recent generation of glass, uh, Corning Gorilla Glass Victus 2, uh, in, which is tougher in a, a couple different ways, right? So over time, if you think about mobile consumer electronics or handsets, um, they've gotten more and more and more capable since they were launched about 15 years ago, right? Now, all that capability uh, makes the phone a little bit heavier, right? You think about better chips, better cameras, better sensors, more memory, all that functionality makes the phone heavier, right? To include all the battery required to run that, or run that functionality. So, we've now invented a latest generation of glass that helps prevent breakage up to one meters 
for heavier devices. Secondly, on uh, the surfaces that we, uh, we design the, the phones around. Right, so uh, over time, we've tested thousands and thousands of broken devices in the field that are sent to us from our customers. And from that, we've learned just what exactly makes the phone break, the phone cover glass. And that's changed over time. So phones have gotten heavier, phones have gotten bigger, and then the, um, the cover glass and the, and the design factors have gotten thinner. So we constantly work with our customers to modify the glass and how it's processed so that it better protects against all these new uh, de deployment conditions and environment. And so this year, we've maintained all the functionality and all the improvements we had made to the previous generations of Gorilla Glass. And now we're actually designing around tougher surfaces on those heavier devices. Historically, we'd always designed around asphalt. Asphalt was the primary material out there that was causing phones to break around the world. Now, over the last, say, five, six, seven years or so, we've noticed in the phones that we re retrieve from the field and that we analyze, that surfaces more like concrete, which is rougher, are actually starting to cause more of the breakage. Right? And so we, we've worked with our customers to, to, to validate this, uh, this uh, understanding on the devices they test themselves and how they're doing their testing on, on their prototyping. And we, uh, we then validated, validated that with them. And then we brought that back to our scientists. So we've changed the composition, we've made it better. And so if you remember, when we launched Corn and Gorilla Glass Victus, we established this two meter performance, drop performance right on, on asphalt right and combine that with improved scratch performance for the first time in any cover glass we retain all that performance but now we also have a one meter survival rate this earth phone survival on these concrete sur concrete surfaces so tougher from the surface and also on these heavier devices we've gone from 160 grams to 200 grams you know, two years back, you introduced Corny Gorilla Glass Victus that we saw in premium devices such as Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and the OnePlus 10 Pro 5G. Now with Corning Gorilla Glass Victus 2, what has changed? So again, so yeah, Vic, we were really, really proud and excited uh, for the Victus launch two years ago, and it's gone amazingly well, right? So you remember, so for the first time ever, you got this two meter height, right? Higher than a you know, typical person, right? That we, the, the phones could survive um, drops on these asphalt surfaces, right from two meters, and better scratch performance. Where now we've retained all that from two years ago, and now we've increased the toughness of this of this cover glass. So now it can also survive on the tougher surfaces and heavier form factors, right, at a one meter drop. Mr. Dave, with Corning Gorilla Glass Victus 2 taking the more premium seat, how will the Gorilla Glass Victus power devices be placed in the market? Uh, Will Victus and Victus 2 powered devices coexist or will Victus 2 be available in the premium segment smartphones and Victus be available in the second line of smartphones? So we don't we don't like to talk too much in too 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 much detail about what our customers do with our different uh, with our different classes. Typically, and again, we've been at this for about 15 years and we've brought many variants and generations of Gorilla Glass. Typically, the most recent launch tends to be our best product. So once, uh, once we bring the new premium uh, or next generation of glass, most OEMs like to use that on their flagship products and their premium devices, right? And so that's where they'll focus their energies for their first launches. Mr. Dave, a geek in me is very much inquisitive to know what this technology is about. So in technical terms, how thick or thin Gorilla Glass Victus 2 is when compared to Gorilla Glass Victus, does this thickness impact the strength of the glass? That's a great question. So yes, the thickness of the glass is one of the most important uh, attributes actually of trying to make a glass uh, tough and, and, and not breaking the devices. Over time, as we've made our glasses better and better and better, generally, customers have taken that goodness to do redesigns. If you've noticed, over time, these smartphones have gotten thinner and thinner and thinner over time. And our cover glass has gotten thinner along with it. And as, as, as a matter of fact, has enabled some of that thickness reduction has been because we've made the glass tougher. So as a glass gets tougher, it can survive even if it's a little bit thinner. Now, again, different customers make different design choices, but generally um, they'll try and take advantage as much as they can to keep the cover glass as thin as possible. 
Mr. Dev, India is one of the largest smartphone market in the world and there's a tough competition going on here. Do you think smartphone prices will change even if marginally with Gorilla Glass Victus 2 being your most premium offering? Um, the, the way we like to think about it is, um, and India is a, is a great uh, case study, you've got a large portion of the population that is now spending a substantial amount of money, weeks, sometimes months of their salary on their, on their mobile phone. It has become an integral part of their life and it has become a primary uh, spend for them of their disposable income. So we think is the most important thing we can do is make the best possible product to make sure it doesn't break right after they've made that investment. And, um, you know, as we make our glasses for the performance, right? So we, we make a series of different glasses and different, like, as you mentioned, different generations of Gorilla Glass. And the older glasses tend to be a little bit lower cost um, and tend to go onto lower cost phones. We do not expect Victus to, to have a, any kind of substantial impact on the price of the phone. Mr. Dave, if you had to explain to a person who is not so tech savvy, say my friend's son or a cousin's grandmother, how strong Gorilla Glass Victus 2 is. Could you explain? What I would say is uh, we've already delivered the survival rates on phones up to, up to two meters, right? And we retain on, on uh, asphalt type surfaces. And now we're delivering even tougher, even better performance on much more demanding surfaces. And those much more demanding surfaces, like concrete, right? If, you, if you're talking to your son or your son's friends, you would say, you, you, you've seen asphalt, you've seen concrete, you might think those are very, very similar. Those are the same type of materials, but they're not. Concrete is tougher. It's rougher and it has rougher and uh, stronger raw materials inside. Not to mention that concrete is different around the world, right? It's mixed locally. So the concrete in India is different than a concrete in Italy, which is different than some concrete in South Africa. And so it's rougher and is your, your phone, your, your son would probably know this, his, his phone is getting a little bit heavier. If you compare it to phones that he may have felt or some of your old phones, that phone's a little bit heavier. And now he's got a cover glass there that's gonna survive on these rougher surfaces and even though it's heavier. So you are saying that if I drop my Gorilla Glass Victus 2 powered smartphone on a pavement accidentally, it won't break, right? But surely there would be some impact. What would that be? So typically, again, we, we've not yet we have not yet invented uh, an unbreakable glass. So we can't we cannot guarantee uh, the phone's a phone survival rate under any any different types of conditions. But if even if your your son were to drop his phone on on some asphalt on some concrete, uh, you know, from this meteorite, generally it should survive. Now sometimes it may get a little scratch in it, right? Because we can't we can't again. That's another thing we have not quite invented yet is a scratch proof glass. But generally it should survive with maybe a little bit of scratch. Talking about durability, foldables are the next avenue of innovation when it comes to smartphones. Uh, despite the innovation, they are often considered quite fragile compared to premium smartphones. Say something like Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus. Do you think Gorilla Glass Victus 2 will help in making these devices seem and be a bit more sturdier? I can, it will. So anytime you have a new form factor with a new profile, it, uh, it represents uh, an opportunity for different ways the glass can break. And certainly the glasses that are on these foldable devices are very, very thin. And, they, and, and so they, they can break a little bit more easily depending on how they're deployed, right? So you want, it's even a, a greater reason you want the best possible cover glass, right? And so if you were to add Victus 2 to the portfolio or into the design mix of these bendable devices, and, and some folks are already using uh, Gorilla Glasses on these foldables, it'll enhance the chance that it survives. And in addition, we've got a suite of products that are coming that we're already working with them, all the major customers who are, who are launching and working on these foldable devices for other new types of glasses that are more attuned specifically for these bend profiles. Mr. Dave, last time when Corning launched Gorilla Glass Victors, it was very well accepted by all the OEMs. Can you name some of the companies that are likely to utilize the Gorilla Glass Victors 2 in their premium devices first? So um, the short answer is no, we can't. Uh, we, don't, we, we don't talk to specifics about our customers and their launch plans and, and where they're designed. And what I can tell you is you're right. Uh, our, our last generation of Victus Glass was uh, designed in many, many, many uh, phones. And we're already working. We've sampled many OEMs already. We're in production now, 
right? We're shipping glass today that's being prototyped and to build up for launches that are coming in the next uh, six to 12 months. So what I would say is stay tuned. You'll see some announcements soon. Lastly, Mr. Dave, a Corning Gorilla Glass has almost become a safety standard buyers look for on smartphones. You literally touch people's lives with your products. How do you plan to better this experience using the Gorilla Glass Victus 2? We will never be satisfied until we have invented the unbreakable glass. So we will continue to strive to make our glasses better. We realize our customers, the phone makers, right? They're designing new, much more exciting form factors and capabilities in their devices. And all that design work makes the environment more demanding on the, on the cover glass. And we're gonna be hand in hand, walking together, partnering with these phone companies to make sure our phone is as good as possible and our glasses are as good as possible. Um, we do realize, again, just how much money people spend on their phones every day. And we know that the first thing they look through is that piece of cover glass. So we're gonna to endeavor to continue to innovate. We've got, we've got our next one or two generations of materials already working on in the lab today, where we think we're going to launch in one, two, five years from now. And um, what I can tell, the, uh, what I can tell uh, folks who are buying phones is to continue to stay with us. We're gonna to continue to have the best glass possible and it'll be, it'll be improved for all these new devices. So that's all we have in this special segment and get ready for the all new Corning Gorilla Glass Victus 2. Great, thank you very much.